My name is Ernesto Reyes. I am currently graduating fifth year from Revelle College, uh, international studies major with an emphasis in political science, region Latin America. Since my first year, I got involved with uh, the Cross Cultural Center. That was my first actual entry point within UCSD. Uh, from there, I got involved in different spaces like Mecha, which stands for Movimiento Estudiantil Chicano Chicana de Tzlan. Uh, one of the core organizations of SAC, which is a Student Affirmative Action Committee. It's a kind of an umbrella organization um, that, oddly enough, I, I was the chair for for this last year. So kind of organizing uh, eight different organizations around different identity politics, ethnic, racial, sexual, sexuality, uh, gender um, issues and things like that, really organizing around that. Um, I was an intern at the Cross Cultural Center as a social justice educator last year. Um, and then I've been chair for the Central American Raising Awareness and Solidarity, or CARAS. Um, so I've just been involved a lot in a lot of different uh, student organizations, participated in a whole bunch of high school conferences across the years that I've been here. My involvement really stems from um, my social justice background and learning what that really means for myself as a student of color on campus. And that's driven a lot of my uh, student leadership and my student leadership development. I've had hardships I mean, from the moment I stepped on the university campus. I remember my first year, um, my first winter quarter here was 2010, and that was the Compton Cookout events. My fifth year, um, unfortunately, a friend had passed away. Um, recently, actually, within the last three weeks. Um, and we organized heavily around it. I used a lot of the skills and the people and the knowledge that I have grown into as a student leader working with administration that had our back um, within the pro staff of, this is certainly the university, uh, student leaders, folks that are just like friends, folks that are like developing that, that is there with me and us and the community effort. Um, so it was hard, it was really difficult, like knowing that that friend of mine, since I've known him since he was a first year, um, wasn't gonna graduate. You find that right niche of community, no matter what that sounds like, looks like for you and for what your comfortability and your challenge could be, that's exactly what helps you get through those hardships. You know, it's not just being in it, it's growing from it and allowing it to help you get to that next stage in your own development, no matter what that development may look like, whether professional or personal. I think being a student is a giant safety net at the end of the day. I think it's a space for us to know where I was a year ago, where I'm gonna be the next year, you know, with familiarity. But now that I'm not gonna be a student anymore, at least for the foreseeable future, um, until I start applying for grad school and all these different things that are kind of beyond the moment right now, it can be a little scary. It can be a little daunting. It can be a little um, overwhelming to try to feel secure in an unsecure place, to feel validated in the work that you've done across the university space um, and prior to that, and then try to have that find a space or a material manifestation in the real world. I think it could be a little scary, but um, it's an exciting feeling nonetheless. Go out there and be bold. Like, I didn't know what I was going to do until like a week ago. <laughs> you know, like I just got the confirmation a week ago that I was going to be in San Jose. Um, and I still don't have everything figured out. I have to find a living situation. I still have to find out who I'm going to live with. There's a lot, a lot of different things that even though I have something figured out, I still have a lot to process with internally. Because that's like, you know, it's a whole new area for me. I've never lived up in the Bay. I've visited, but visiting and living are very different. Um, so for my seniors who don't necessarily have things figured out, I think it's like, take advantage of that. You know, be okay with the ambiguity, go and find out new things and be bold and be unafraid to challenge yourself and try new things that you may necessarily not have the space to do when you do kind of settle into a more professional uh, job space. Practice of being enough is the hard part. I think it really allowed me to envision what I could be. It challenged me to grow, it challenged me to be uncomfortable and expand that comfort zone. Uh, my communication skills, verbal skills, like it really like boosted my resume because my grades weren't the greatest, like by any means, like I'm not even a 3.0 student, but um, I'm getting these opportunities left and right. Um, have such, have so much more experience that, that an inside classroom could teach me. Um, so I'm really taking advantage of the fact that this extracurricular activities really helped me figure out um, what my passions were, what I want to do professionally, and how I could reach that. Um, in the near future. It's a wrap, I mean, just, you know, do what you gotta do, handle what you gotta handle, be unafraid, uh, speak truth, don't let silence keep you from doing what you gotta do. Um, yeah.